Hi there, I'm here in the studio with funky freestyle guitar virtuoso and YouTube sensation, Mr. Adam Rafferty. Hi, Hello, Adam, mate. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. All right, mate, you started playing guitar at age of six, right? So what was it about the guitar that uh, really turned you on to it at such an early age? Well, my dad played guitar for me. You know, he had a big, beautiful Martin guitar, and he just str strummed chords and sang, and, and it was, I guess I was at a young enough age that the magic just overwhelmed me and I knew that I wanted to play the guitar. It was always the guitar from the first moment you heard. Yeah. You became a professional musician at 16. Now, what was it like growing up in a New York, you know, young musician, paying your dues? Paying dues really started after I graduated college. Yeah. You know, for, for many musicians, that's the age where the parents don't think it's cute anymore <laughs> and you've got to pay your first rent. Yeah, yeah. And then the question is, well, how am I going to do that? And that, mm -hmm. that was really the start of just grabbing every gig I could. But it's, and it's an essential part of the journey for any musician, any serious musician. Yeah, yeah, you have to sort of show the universe that you're willing to put up with anything <laughs> and then you get the, the, the reward comes later once you pass through that. Okay, so. okay. Well, we got to go back to the source, right? Well, what was it that turned you on the music? What kind of music did you really dig, you know, and when you started getting the music and that? Oh, the first music that I would say I really dug was the Beatles. Beatles, listening right? to my mom's Beatles records and then it was cool to get into rock and when I actually had hair I let my <laughs> hair grow long and I had a double neck guitar and I'd play Led Zeppelin songs in right. front of the mirror yeah. until my back couldn't take the double neck <laughs> guitar anymore and then you know but the sort of hip-hop and then the, the MJ stuff and Stevie Wonder that was kind of the the pulse of what was going on in New York mm -hmm. so it was cool to like rock and roll and right. cool to be in Led Zeppelin, yeah. but there was no escaping Sugar Hill Gang, oh. Run DMC, yeah, Grandmaster, Grandmaster Flash, Flash yeah. and the Furious Five, and then all the disco stuff like okay. SOS Band, Chic, Taste of Honey, all that. For a brief period, when I was about 19 years old, I was right. a rapper, okay. and I almost quit playing the guitar. Wow. It was I was studying classical guitar, and I was in a college situation and I really grew to just hate the whole situation. It was strict, it was oppressive. I said, man, I have my own way that I want to do it. Mm. And I got into a pop band, which led to fooling around at a rehearsal, which led to a band leader saying, why don't you rap for one tune on the mm. gig? Mm -hmm. And then people loved it. And I, I had a band with a following and I wasn't even playing guitar. People didn't wow. know that I played guitar. And then when I got interested in jazz, I had a pretty hardcore jazz teacher, mm -hmm. and he said to me, I'm not going to teach somebody who's not dedicated, so decide what you're going to do. So I quit the hip-hop stuff. Well, anyone that's heard you play guitar would be aghast at what you just told me, because guitar playing is obviously what you're meant to do, mate. Fingerstyle guitar playing. I love the sound of your fingerstyle. So how do you develop this technique? But there's a lot of background knowledge. Right. Arranging, studio recording, sure. playing in big bands, playing classical music, playing a little bit of piano. All of that goes in and informs mm -hmm. the fingerstyle guitar playing. Well, besides being a musician, of course, your tutorial videos on YouTube, the thing of legends, mate. So for people wanting to develop their skills, what's your advice to them? Oh. Just to wrap this up. Well, um... If you want to start with learning some of the things that I play, I have two DVDs where I teach some of the Stevie Wonder arrangements, Superstition and uh -huh. Isn't She Lovely, and I, I walk students through note for note. Okay. And uh, there's also a Jackson 5 DVD. And there's going to be more free lessons on YouTube. There's, there's a couple free things up there on my website. There's okay. tablatures, sheet music that people can download. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm going to kind of hammer away at the teaching stuff when I'm not on the road <laughs> just to pass the knowledge on. Fantastic, Adam. Uh, mate, just you know, keep on keeping on. Mate, you're born to play guitar. Oh, man. So basically, go visit adamrafferty.com if you want to find out more about Adam and his wonderful music. Adam, thank you very much, mate. Thank you, play Zach. Tune. I'm going to play something for you. What yeah. are you going to play for us? Oh, gosh. I think I'll play something from Stevie Wonder. I think I'm going to play Isn't She Lovely for okay, you. Okay, mate. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Thank you very much. Adam All right. Thank you. Yeah.